your house might have one of these, a thermostat. A thermostat is capable of measuring the temperature of the air around it. If your room gets too warm, the thermostat detects that and says, turns on the air conditioner. Or maybe your room gets too cold, in which case the thermostat knows that too and can turn on the heater. But how does a thermostat measure temperature? There are lots of ways we can measure temperature. If you were to look in an old home, you might find a thermostat that looks like this. Before semiconductor electronics, thermostats would measure temperature with something known as a bimetallic strip. If we place two different types of metal next to each other and heated them, they would expand in size at different rates. One metal strip would expand to be longer than the other. Now, if we bind the strips together, the metals will try to expand but end up curving to stay in contact with each other. We can use that motion to connect to a contact or flip a switch. In addition, we can put a needle on one end and use that to indicate temperature. Modern semiconductor temperature sensors like the one found on your microbit operate on a slightly different principle. Much like an LED, a diode is made up of two types of semiconductor material. One side is made up of p-type semiconductor material, which allows positive charges to move around more freely than negative charges. The other side is made up of n-type material. This side allows negative charges to move around more freely. When n-type and p-type materials are joined together, some of the negative and positive charges meet in the middle and cancel. This is known as a depletion region. It is difficult for electricity to move through this depletion region, so it acts as a type of insulator. We have two conducting materials that are separated by an insulator. This creates a very tiny capacitor, which we've seen before. In our accelerometer demo, we showed that two parallel plates separated by air can act as a capacitor. If we heat up our diode, the negative charges and positive charges on their respective sides will begin to move around more. This causes the depletion region, our insulator, to shrink in size. As a result, the value of the capacitor changes, and we can measure that. This technique is very similar to how the light sensor works, which we see in another video. In that, however, we use light and LEDs instead of heat and regular diodes. I connected a diode to a capacitance meter. As I heat up the diode, you can see the capacitance value increase, which shows that the depletion region is shrinking inside the diode. When I remove the heat, the diode cools off and the capacitance value returns to normal. If you look at your microbit, you won't find a temperature sensor chip. Instead, the temperature sensor is inside the processor. This creates a bit of a problem as we are measuring the temperature inside the processor instead of the air around it. As the processor runs, executing our code, it will naturally begin to heat up, which means that the temperature sensor will report a slightly higher value than what we expect had we measured the air around it. But this should be good enough for most of our needs. In MakeCode, drag a show number block from basic and snap it inside the forever block. From input, drag a temperature block and snap it inside the show number block. From basic again, get a pause block and snap it under the show number block. Change the delay to 500 milliseconds. We want to make sure that there is a slight delay between scrolling numbers on our screen so we can tell them apart. In the simulator, try dragging the temperature slider up and down. You should see the scrolling numbers change to give you the temperature around the processor in degrees Celsius. Download and copy this program to your microbit. You should see the temperature in Celsius scrolling across your micro bit. Try breathing on the processor chip or holding your finger on it for a few seconds. The numbers should increase, showing you that the processor has become warmer. Let go and the temperature should decrease. Temperature sensors are extremely useful. They can help keep our houses warm or they can even shut down your computer in an emergency if it gets too hot. Knowing how to use the temperature sensor on your micro bit will help you Keep your cool.